be quite a bit different, at least compared to just 24 hours ago. Mainly, it's going to be quite a bit colder. We're taking a live look outside this morning in Jackson, where it's currently 40 degrees, and we are still under the clouds, at least right now. We had a cold front move through overnight, and while the rain is gone, we're still dealing with a little bit of that cloud cover. High pressure to our south should move in later this afternoon and help scour out those clouds. We will turn mostly sunny, at least by later this afternoon. In the meantime, though, temperatures this morning are feeling the effects of that front coming through. Currently it's 39 outside in Lansing, 40 the current temperature in Jackson. It's 41 in Mason, 42 the current temperature outside in Charlotte. For today, high should reach to around 46 degrees, which is pretty close to average for this time of the year. We normally see an, an average high of 49 degrees. It's just going to feel quite a bit colder compared to the 74 that we saw yesterday, but still pretty pleasant overall for our Veterans Day. Sunshine this afternoon, it stays breezy with a west wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Tonight we drop down to around 30 degrees and it stays mainly clear. Going to feel quite a bit colder, at least compared to where we have been the last several nights in a row. Probably going to want to turn the heat on later tonight or at least by early tomorrow morning. Our future track for today again. Front came through, temperatures fell a little bit. We should rebound. Highs back up into at least the mid 40s later this afternoon. And we should see that clearing take place, turning mostly sunny, at least for a good portion of the afternoon. We've expected to stay clear overnight with clear skies, though. We do see cold temperatures waking up tomorrow morning right around or just below the freezing mark. So keep that in mind for 7 o'clock on Thursday. Likely going to need the jacket or bring the jacket back out. Tomorrow we see mostly sunny skies hold through the day and it will be a bit warmer. Highs reach at least into about the low 50s. And then we see pretty much nothing but sunshine at least through the rest of the day. A few clouds look like they'll pass through on Friday morning before we see sunshine break out again Friday afternoon. A look at our full seven day forecast for today on our Veterans Day. Expect clearing skies turning mostly sunny, a high of 46, 51 in sunshine on Thursday. Friday looks like it's going to be rather chilly, a high of only 42 with partly cloudy skies. Saturday and Sunday, we do see a couple chances for rain. I don't think this weekend is going to be a washout by any means, but we'll see a few showers on Saturday, mainly Saturday evening. The best time frame for rain, a high of 44, a bit warmer, you could say on Sunday, a high of 55. We'll see a few isolated showers linger, but again, it's not really going to be a washout by any means. Monday and Tuesday of next week, well, it's definitely going to feel a whole lot like November. 43, the expected high on Monday, 41 on Tuesday under partly cloudy skies. Back to reality. Thank you, Claire. Central America is still.